Okay, so I'm day 10 off methadone. And I'm listening to a guy named Shane who's been super as supportive of me. And he gave some information, and I don't remember if I gave any information in my videos, but I'm 48. Today's actually my anniversary. I've been married 24 years today. And my husband has been amazing. Yeah, he's been a little emotional because he doesn't know how to help me. And that's kind of a, a feeling of him feeling hopeless. But for the most part, he's been doing everything for me. My 16-year-old son doesn't start school till next week. So he's been one of my biggest helps, helping me with my three-year-old granddaughter who's been with me for uh, on and off since March, three and a half days, sometimes four days a week. Um, I'm on Collotidine. I don't really know if it's working or not because I feel like shit every single day. I've got diarrhea. I can't take a sip of even water without it going through me. Um, I've got, let's see, like I said, I have the clotidine, I think. It's the patch for blood pressure, but it's supposed to help with, with everything. Um, I have Baclavin. I have... Chlorodiazepoxide for anxiety. But what I really need is something for the muscles. Because I get those feelings where I'm crawling out of my muscles. I mean my body. Last night I literally was screaming. I actually woke my husband up. I was asleep screaming. Um, my doctor prescribed a sedative that I only take at night to help me sleep because I am previously diagnosed with insomnia because I can't sleep as it is, but I've been like just really drugged and I am thankful for that because it kind of does help, but I was on a very high level of methadone. I was on 120 milligrams a day, I believe. I had 420 pills, and that was a 30-day supply. And I think I was taking six every four hours, something like that. It was a lot. But I was also taking oxycodone, morphine, and Percocet, actually all at the same time. I never withdrew, I mean, I never overdosed, nothing, but I've also had gastric bypass, so I don't absorb it all. But, um, I got myself off of the Percocet, the morphine, and the oxycodone. And I decided to keep the methadone because of out of all the pain meds, that was the one that worked the best for me. I have had several cervical fusions. Um, you can see one of my scars there. I have a really bad scar in the back of my neck because I've had, I've had that. It's called posterior surgery. I've had that cut twice. I've had a halo screwed in my head. It just has been a mess. So I've been in chronic pain since 2006. And I feel like I never got that high that people talk about. I never got that euphoric feeling. And from what my doctors have told me, it's because I malabsorb. I actually make videos about malabsorption and how... Uh, it's, it's fucked my life up as far as my health and my teeth and my hair, but this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I have given birth without pain 
medications with my first one, and I was in labor for three freaking days. Every time they tried to give me something for pain, the baby's heart rate would drop, so no pain meds for me. So I also gave birth to my second son, which I was induced, and they tried to give me two epidurals, and neither one of them worked. So I know what natural birth feels like, and this is worse. This is the worst thing I have ever gone through. And I am on day 10, and I feel just as horrible as I did on day 4. I have diarrhea. I can't drink anything. It goes right through me. I'm so dehydrated. Um... But this is also the first time I've ever detoxed off any medication. But I'm not going to lie to any of you that are going through this. It fucking sucks. It fucking sucks a bag of dicks. A bag of dirty dicks. And I just want you to know that I'm on day 10 without methadone. I have my bottle. It's there. I can take them if I want to, but I don't. This is something I wanted to do for myself. I didn't want to do it for my husband. I didn't want to do it for my kids. I want to do it for me. And so far, so good. I feel like I still have quite a bit more to go, but I'm going to keep my daily vlogs going. And I just... Pray to God I can help somebody. <laughs> and I respond to some of them, but Peace to be out. Honest, Love you.